Elf Who Killed Christmas. You are one of Santa's slaves who is building toys in the factory. However, you've become enlightened and you've busted free. You're revolting. You're, you're, you're leading the revolt and you've got to, uh, you're trying to save your brethren. And you're going to run through a uh, mountain level to get to the Santa's palace ultimately. Run through the factory, get through the, get through the prison, fight yetis, fight nutcrackers, fight robo Santa Clauses, and then of course at the end, Santa Claus. Because there aren't so many 3D games, I feel like we've got a little something to go with, you know, that we're really proud of. I really like working in 3D, I really like making short films and doing 3D uh, illustration. Why not go with that, uh, especially when a lot of other people aren't doing it, at least in the indie scene, you know. Um, so, hey, and for a buck, you know, we're aiming for that, you know, low price point uh, uh, kind of game. So. Yeah, we're, we're thinking it's getting a good feedback to see a neat 3D game. Using Maya, I get a little bit, how can you say, a little bit intimidated because we're not a AAA company. We're not a AAA studio. And so, listen, we can't quite get, you know, uh, crisis quality graphics. I'm sure it could be gotten in Maya, not that I can get it. So we tried to really go with a neat style to really get a more cartoony look. A lot of these indie games, and we love them, absolutely, and they really like going for that retro look. Yeah, we love the retro look too, lots of flashing lights and stuff like that. So why not go for a, you know, maybe a decade ago, 15 years ago, that PlayStation 1, um, that first Xbox kind of style going and really see where we could go with that, you know. Um, so it's available now on Amazon Marketplace. You can Elf Who Killed Christmas on Amazon. Uh, you can download the demo for free. You could also buy the full PC version of the game for 99 cents. What we're doing right now is re-releasing it in the fall, and by that time we're hoping that it's out for iOS, Android, PC, Mac, and whatever comes out before next Christmas.